Through this, we go through so many health problems, diseases, getting fat, building up more weight, that we create a lot of brain problems. Dementia and other examples. So, even people who live very healthy, I mean, nudist and a healthy diet, when they age, they walk like zombies. start to forget many things so that is what they want from us to be easy easy victims all of us Because the ones who don't find out the truth, mean the natural diet, the fasting, those people clog them up in our ways, in the intestines, in the veins, in the brain. They get dehydrated everywhere by the cooked food that pulls the lifelong water. So what do you expect when you live a life like that? Only when you go to what Genesis said in Genesis 1 and 2 eat only from the garden of eden if you go to the other part you will create demons you will go into wars you will into hate aggression so that is what we did we never listened and went into the demonic world and we are still in it because wars are still happening hate is still happening murdering, killing, it's still happening not only to the animals that people eat the food industry will never tell us that we are frugivore or food eaters by design. They want to sell their products. The pharmacy will never tell us because it's a million business like the food industry, even bigger. And how you want to stay healthy, alive without illness or disease, without becoming a zombie, or an easy victim, a slave of the industries. Well, nobody will help you. You need to look for the real truth. You need to find people as Professor Spira, 
Arnold Erb, John Rose, Anne Osborne. Those people found it a long time ago. A long, long time. They were more into self-healing, into discovering the truth behind all the lies. Because we have lies every day. Food promotion, medicine promotion in TV, on radio, everywhere it's a, on the street. Everywhere you have it. And the Babylon system comes everywhere, even into natural countries. Whereas a lot of nature they going to create in the cities Burger King they're going to create McDonald's because they want to get us sick and to support the million businesses to heal actually healing is, is not the word Suppressing the sim symptom is the right word. So when you do research to find the natural human species specific diet, and you will not go further than that, then you will miss out something because when we lived on the natural diet long, long ago, we have got no clothes. So nudity is a must to have sun on all your body spots everywhere. To have to let your skin breathe on the whole body. To increase your immunity because clothes lower your immun immunity by a, a microclimate where it's warm humid where bacteria thrive so when you create that immunity by nudity even the insects will not bite you that much anymore If you go further in it, you will see you can heal also by barefoot walking. You can heal by cold showers. So there are many natural ways of healing, but none of these ways works when you not go fully on the raw fruit diet, which is giving you the, the needed water to flush out the toxins and that is what not happen with cooked food because they're gonna pull water from your system so you're gonna dehydrate yourself the build up mucoid plaque in the small intestines will never leave until you discover the truth of fasting, juice cleansing, like John Rose says, to get all the stuff out, watermelon cure, like Kev Ar Kevin Ramon, Kev Ramon, or pineapple cure, like Kali muscle. So you need to do research to do effort to find the truth because facebook youtube instagram tiktok will not help you because if i make videos not 1700 videos they deleted my channel if i gonna talk too much or show too much nudity, they 
my daily, my channel or my video. So the videos are like heaven for most of the people because they don't want that too many people get known at posting the truth because the Babylon, Babylonia system wants to destroy nature by industries, by cities, by roads and the Babylon industry want to create health problems so that the million businesses keep on running. We are totally misled. So if we lived in nature, if we would do that now and have our own land in a warm climate, in the tropics, subtropics, and we grow our own fruits, lettuce, sugarcane, we would change the world because now we eat cooked foods and we support the dehydration. If we eat meat, we support um, the deforestation, sorry. If we eat rice, we support the deforestation. If we eat bread, we support the deforestation. If we drink coffee and tea, we support the def uh, deforestation. So we, we can't go on like that. You already, already see so much climate problems all over in the world because of all the people that eat an unnatural diet that is causing deforestation more and more. So only when you live on your natural human species specific diet you will have the seeds from your fruit to reforest but of course not in a cold climate there you can grow only apples, figs, uh, pears, some berries, so, some lettuce in, in summertime, some cucumbers, tomatoes but those are not natural human foods because they never grow in the on the equatorial rainforest the papaya the mango the jackfruit the champerak the durian those are more nature fru uh, fruits because the, the cucumbers, the bell pepper, they cause more deforestation. The watermelons cause deforestation. It's all human creation. Tomatoes, human creation. So lettuce, you can compare to greens in nature, exist. But do you find watermelons in a primary forest or cantaloupe in a primary forest? No because they need a wide open space to have enough sun so you are taking part of the deforestation papaya is a grass, banana is a grass they don't refor uh, reforest completely because they are grasses even sugarcane so those can be grown outside of your food forest of your tree forest because only the trees gonna shade out the ground that is destroyed in most of the world and gonna create enough shade enough going down of the temperature creating enough water to change into the original black soft soil from the equatorial rainforest 
only in that soil you're going to have success with nutritious tasty fruit tree growing so all the red clay that you see that is by Babylon destruction if somebody builds a road and the road has trees next to it they often cut the trees in the tropics the sun is very hot and in a quick time the forest soil changes into red clay soil which is a hard as a rock in a, in a long dry season it becomes a block of concrete so that is not natural soil that is destructive soil because that is the last stage of soil before you go to a desert and you see many countries like Africa um, Australia South America Central America where the soil is red so you can restore it quickly with mimosa sun uh, sun fire mimosa i think which grows way faster than the peanut grass grows way way thicker shading out the ground and then you plant your big fruit trees on it and then it gonna become quickly black and soft and that is the way to go the only way humans should go peace and love to you blessings Rastafari.